y'all it's so funny because everybody keeps saying you sure you're not having twins bitch if i was having twins and me and my baby daddy would fall the fuck out <laughs> that nigga would really pass the fuck out <laughs> little boston i'm excited your girl is you know thick thick or whatever mm-hmm <laughs> Period snapback game gonna be on period poo. This is basically my last day of being pregnant. <laughs> I'm finna cry, y'all know I'm a cry baby. I'm just, I'm really, I'm really hype on this body I got though. Okay, God, I see what you try to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to come up and be real, <laughs> but um, no, for real. Oh my God, I'm so emotional, like. In many ways, like <sighs> my first trimester symptoms are very similar to my third, so I've been like hella irritated, agitated, overwhelmed, emotional, wanting to cut your ass out, wanting to cry, wanting to just I mean, I'm keeping it all to myself, so ain't nobody getting it, <laughs> but. I don't know, most importantly, though, right now, I just feel very grateful and I'm nervous and I'm excited and I don't know. I just feel really blessed in this moment. I'm finna start crying, but I've been, I've been doing real good holding my tears back lately. So I just wanted to show you guys my belly for the last time. Like this is crazy, it's finuck. Boston. This is it. This is your time. Your time is up. <laughs> so, um, right now I'm actually looking a hot damn fool. I got about 30 minutes left to eat my last little meal for like the next couple hours at least. I'm going to the hospital at 530. Um, I think that's when they're gonna insert the server deal or whatever, but I can't eat um, after 2.30. And I have to be at the hospital at 5 30 and it's 1 51 um so I'm gonna go ahead and eat real quick and then I will see you guys in my next clip I'm done eating and I need to wash my sheets because I didn't wash them last night I got real like in my feelings and like real lazy and I was just like I'm just gonna lay here because I need to rest anyway it is just about three o'clock so I have about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes to get like my sheets and stuff washed, shower and make sure that I have everything that I need to have in my bag. I need to shave. Do I need to shave my underarms? My hair is growing back, I need to shave. I've never had dark underarms, which is like, I don't like that. So I'm gonna have to get that bleached. I'm gonna get my underarms bleached, period. I don't know what else I was gonna say. I don't know. I really can't believe this is happening. <laughs> but it's happening, sis. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next clip. All right, hi guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It is the King the Go, obviously. Um, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, then hey girl, hey. I am in the hospital now. And I'm getting ready to get the server deal tonight. My mom is in here with me. Oh, people know they love the news. I do not watch the news, so I'm gonna have to turn that down. I'm in here, just got into this gown, just did my urine sample, and I'm just gonna wait and see what is next. My mom is in here, looking her, looking real concerned. That's why I don't watch the news. Like, she looks concerned as fuck. The lighting in here is kinda terrible. Um, but I guess I shouldn't be worried about that because I'm about to have a baby. <laughs> Some things never change. I'm actually about to get my laptop out and while she gets depressed about the news, I'll be watching 13 Reasons Why, which is not really depressing to me. I just kind of want to see what this third season is about. Um, I think I'm like on the third or fourth episode, but yeah. So. I will let you guys know what is about to happen next. We'll see you guys in my next clip.
Um, I'm trying to hit them angles, snapping like I'm Fabo. <laughs> Let me chill out. My night nurse just came in and she checked my cervix, which I don't know if I said this in another video, but like, I know a lot of women are like uncomfortable with men doctors. I'm not, I think it's cause I was gay for so long. <laughs> so I was just never like thinking like, ooh, I don't want a man to touch me look at my vagina or whatever the fuck people be thinking because i'd be like i'm not interested anyway so i'm just i don't know i just feel like you a doctor like if you're not professional then we have more issues than feeling uncomfortable about your sex the lady came in and she checked my cervix which i feel like women when women check your cervix it hurts worse because their hands are naturally smaller than a man's so they be like extra reaching they be having nails and shit and i just be like <laughs> so they put the server deal which is like this white long it almost looked like paper almost but it's like doused in hormones it's supposed to help soften your cervix which helps you dilate they put it between their fingers and they stick it in kind of like they're doing um, a cervix check yo that shit's so fucking painful like not the actual server deal itself because that's nothing it's the fact that they have to push especially if your cervix is like posterior where it's like way up there way up there like and that's how mine is so she really had to like dig do you hear me like she really had to dig in my vagina and it was the most painful shit ever i'm getting an epidural Am I saying that right? I just feel like mush mouth is fucked these past three days. Epidural. Anyway, I'm getting an epidural. And I don't know. It's just kind of like her putting that Cervidil in me. And it hurting like that made me feel like, I don't know how I'm going to push a baby out. Like, that's how bad that hurt. Like, I was just kind of like, girl. Like, I kind of want to, like, claw her face out. Like get off of me like get your hands out of me like that's how how bad it was hurting but it's in there now so i'm just laying here i can't eat or go to the bathroom for about two hours so i'm kind of hoping that the server deal works um i'm really hoping that it works because sometimes it doesn't even work for people like i'd be down if i went through that pain for nothing like for real so hopefully it works um i'm like a child when it comes to the whole you can't pee or you can't do shit thing so i'm gonna try to close my eyes for the next two hours so i won't be like i gotta pee y'all because that's me that's me as fuck i'm praying that this server deal works i feel like it it's gonna work because like i had started to cramp a little bit so i don't know but i will see you guys in my next clip i just had to come on here and tell y'all how painful her putting that server deal was for me and i'm just kind of like wow yeah no <laughs> I won't mess with your pet, so we're just gonna...
leave it be, okay? So we're not gonna mess with that. Um, and then I'm just waiting for the pharmacy to bring up your meds real quick, okay? Can I just say anything else right now? No? Oh, Jesus. At this point, <sighs> my lips are dry. Okay, so at this point, I've been so on and off the drugs, I don't even know what I've told you guys. Earlier, um, around like 5 a.m., um, I still had the server deal in, and my contractions were so bad, and they wanted to keep it in for like an extra 45 minutes, I was like, no you need to take that shit out like immediate. So I have been having like some really bad contractions off of the server deal, which caused um, Boston's heartbeat to drop because the contractions were so overwhelming and they were so back to back that, yeah, like my blood pressure started to get low and Boston's heart started dropping so I had to um, get some oxygen and inhale that for about 30 minutes or whatever to get his heartbeat back up so he's fine um, so after that they started me sorry my lips are bothering me I cannot wait till my mom gets out the bathroom because I need my lip chat so bad my lips are so I just feel like my mouth is dry, period. And I haven't eaten anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into that right now because positive vibes only sis. After that, they put me on Pitocin. They started giving me Pitocin through the IV. And, um, whoo, those contractions were pretty bad too. They gave me the Pitocin. I started contracting bad again. Boston's heart dropped again.